Hey friends, today I'm coming to you with a scarecrow craft that I did for many years with my students at the beginning of the year. You know, September was always our open house month and we always decorated our room. The scarecrow heads were part of our decorations and it was made with a coat hanger. Well, there the student version was always made with construction paper. Well, I decided I wanted to put a little twist on this and see if I can make it with cloth instead of paper and just see how that turns out. I have no idea if it'll turn out or not, but we'll see. And if you're seeing this video, then obviously it did. But I wanted to go ahead and do the video because four dollars of the supplies came from the Dollar Tree and I'm afraid that you may not be able to find these hats for very much longer. Now my Dollar Tree had two different kinds of hats and this appears to be the female hat and then they also had a male version of a hat, like a Bing Crosby type hat that uh, that it will work. I picked it up and kind of folded it in half to see if it would work and I believe it will work too. So any of these little straw looking hats from the Dollar Tree will work. Now I also picked up um, a pair, a pack of pantyhose. Now when I did it with my students, I usually used knee highs. Now just whatever you, you know, and you didn't even have to be pantyhose. It can be a piece of burlap or a piece of brown fabric or, or whatever you want to do to cover the coat hanger, but the pantyhose seems to work the best. And you can use a bandana. I just happened to come across this little red checkered uh, dishcloth that I thought would be cute. Dollar Tree does have these little clip-on birds that I wanted to put on my scarecrow hat. And this isn't exactly the color I wanted because I'm just going to do a little light black spray paint on this little bird. Touch his eyes up again with some paint and maybe a little orange spot on his beak and kind of turn him into a crow. I think that once he's black, solid black, he'll look a lot more like a crow than this little parakeet or whatever it is. So to get started, you will need a coat hanger. And I found the biggest white coat hanger I could find. Now the reason why I picked white is my mother, I don't know what craft we did one time, but she always had told me that the white coat hanger was always the easiest to bend and manipulate. I purposely looked for a white one. The wire is a little thinner, but it is an 18 inch coat hanger. As far as scarecrow face, you could do a number of things. If you're a painter, by all means, paint the, the scarecrow face. If you got some markers, you could draw the face. I happen to have some jumbo wiggle eyes. You know, the eyes part of a project is a lot of times will make or break the project if your eyes don't look right. And for my mouth, I just grabbed some scrap rickrack. If you see the scarecrow face, you'll see how this makes sense. You could take some orange paint and you know, paint some circles on the face. I just have some orange fabric and a green felt nose. I just picked up a little flower I had in my stash, a couple leaves and some raffia for its hair under the hat. I'm going to set the camera up and show you how I'm going to shape this coat hanger into a circle to, to simulate the scarecrow face. Okay, here's my coat hanger and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this kind of into a circle and that could be something that can be done afterwards anyway but that's kind of like your hanger for it and then i'm just going to take it and smooth it out all the way around go ahead and pull it out you can have a fatter face or a longer face but it won't fit all in the frame here but you get the idea but what i did is i took one of the legs of the pantyhose and cut it off it's been years since i made one of these go ahead and and get your fingers to the toes and I'm just going to fit it over the hook of that pantyhose that's why I guess you really should make your hanger at the very end but now you're just going to stretch these pantyhose over and it will work you know once once you get your pantyhose on there. Because this none of this is going to show, so it doesn't matter. And, and kind of reshape your face. Put a knot here at the bottom of the face. And that's going to be covered up. And you can cut off the extra. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get our hat ready. Now, I will tell you this, that probably to make that little hook, do that after you put your pantyhose on there, because that's the reason why I had this little extra toe part left is because I didn't start my pantyhose in the center of the toes. You see, but it's not going to show and it'll the hat will hide it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this hat completely in half. 
The reason why I'm going to double it up is because it is just a tad bit flimsy. I'm thinking you probably could get two hats out of this, but by me doubling it up, and then I'm going to hot glue this bill all the way around, and that way it just makes the hat thicker, and I think it will look better. I'm just going to put hot glue all around this bill and thicken it up, just so you know that's what I did to the hat. I just want to show you that I just make sure, and I didn't even fold it over perfectly, just make sure that your uh, your hot glue is all the way to the end so that it, you know, you... But there you go. I'm going to hot glue this little pumpkin ribbon on the hat. Now, you could certainly keep whatever ribbon is on your hat. Now, let me show you my bird here. He worked out fine. I think he definitely looks like a crow. He's still just a little wet. I just put just a little spray of black spray paint and to show you how lazy I am. I didn't have any white paint down here, so I just put one dot of white out on each eye and a touch of orange paint on his beak. And there you go. There's me a crow to go on his hat. And then I'm going to let my bird dry just a little bit. You know, he's got a little clip on him. I'm going to clip him somewhere on the hat when I get done, so I can do that very last. Now, to attach my hat, I'll put my first spot of glue at the top of the hat. And at least get it connected up there. And then here on the sides, you probably could put just, it won't take much because this is very lightweight. If you flip your coat hanger over, you can kind of see where your coat hanger is touching your hat. So that's where you would probably want to put another spot of glue. Kind of like working with burlap. I mean, that, that hot glue will go through that hat for sure. So be very careful. But I do got my coat hanger hot glued in three places. Now, now as far as it giving him some hair, him or her, gather up some of this raffia. And this stuff sometimes is hard to work with. I'm gonna gather up two strands of raffia and I'm gonna tie it on one end and that way I only have to hot glue just the little knot in place. Just secure it some way, that stuff. Cut the little loops loose. And that'll give me like a little tassel. All right, and show you that that's where I hot glued my little knots of the raffia, and you can add more or less. I'll probably will add a little more when I get done, but that's all I brought down here. Now, what I wanted to show you, the little bandana thing. What I did is I just held it corner to corner, diagonal, and then I'm just gonna flip it once, and then I'm gonna just try to tie a little knot, hot glue it on his neck, and it'll make sense when you, when you see it. All right, friends, here you go. This is my coat hanger scarecrow. Now that it's finished, you can see how that you could you probably use any kind of fabric to cover the coat hanger because the back's not going to show. And the bandana, I just, you know, tied it up at an angle and slipped the coat hanger down in there and hot glued it so it's nice and secure. But And you could add more hair and embellish the hat as much as you'd like. And I love my little bird. He turned out to look just like a little crow. So use whatever you have and have fun with it. You know, a scarecrow is mix match whatever. Hope you enjoyed this. This is a lot of fun and I hope it inspired you in some way. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.